Hey guys, uh, welcome to your uh, love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your December 2023. You can apply this to your uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look, uh, take a look at the person that's on your mind uh, or dealing with. We're going to see what this person's true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, uh, uh, apply this to your own unique situation. Uh, this could be with new love, current love, ex. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, uh, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. If you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's solely dedicated to travel, the links for that is the link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification uh, 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 bell on there too. Okay, so Scorpio, the person that Scorpio is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Scorpio? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Scorpio for December twenty twenty three? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. For Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. This person has marriage and commitment on their mind and their in their heart space here. Um, this person definitely sees a future here with you. Um, could be dealing with someone here uh, who's a twin flame. If you guys are not into the labels here, you guys just have a strong soul tie here. The King of Swords here and the Seven of Swords. Here's the thing. This is heavily on this person's mind, but I feel like this person tends to sabotage themselves here or lie to themselves about what they're feeling or what they're thinking here, okay? So I feel like this has been a very challenging connection between you and this person here. And it's almost like I feel like this person hasn't really stepped up to say it yet or say tell you what they want. Uh, because I feel like this person doesn't feel like they deserve it or that they feel like they're good enough to have you. Okay, the Nine of Wands here and the Four of Cups. I feel like this is a individual that sees themselves as someone here who's very damaged, you know, uh, just traumatized by past situations here that got sort of transferred over into the new relationship here or the relationship that they have with you. Okay, Ten of Pentacles here, Four of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Ten of Swords here. Okay, there was definitely some sort of ending here. Yeah, there was definitely some sort of ending here. Uh, I, I I just feel like this person just definitely jumped to the worst conclusions here. I feel like you know I feel like they really stressed themselves out. I do feel like this is a highly anxious individual here. I also feel like this is a very paranoid individual here too. Perhaps they're scared to get hurt themselves. Maybe that's why they don't say anything or they didn't say anything or, or that this person lies to themselves here, Scorpio. Seven of Swords here and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. The Nine of Wands, Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and the Four of Cups and the World card. I mean, this beautiful opportunity is really going to pass them by here if they don't do anything about it. By the time they do something about it here, Scorpio, I feel like it will be too late. Yeah, you're going to be like, you know what? I don't want to wait around. Yeah. I, you know, I waited enough. I wasted enough time on this, you know? So what else do we have here for Scorpio? What does the Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on when it comes to this love situation for December 2023? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. <clears throat> The moon and the eight of wands. The moon, Cancer Pisces, eight of wands. Five of wands and the five of cups. Some fives here. Eight of pentacles and the three of wands. <coughs> mm. 
th this person is definitely s so internally conflicted here. I feel like you are constantly on their mind. You know, I feel like this person is constantly thinking about a reconciliation, constantly thinking about a second chance here, but when they do catch you, they tend to sabotage it. They tend to lie to themselves here. They're definitely lying to themselves about how they feel about you, what they want with you here. Like, I feel like this person, in their mind, in their heart space, they truly want this. Yeah, they truly want this pretty badly here. But it's like they're stopping themselves. Yeah, they're stopping themselves here. So the Eight of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups here, the Five of Wands, and the Sun. I feel like it's almost to the point that, you know, this person cannot fight their heart. Yeah. You know, the heart wants what it wants, right? So I feel like this person can no, no, no longer fight it, fight, it, fight it anymore. As much as this person tries to resist it and fight it, it's going to start making them uncomfortable. It's going to start making them sick. You know what I mean? So I feel like this person's definitely eventually going to stop that, you know, but I feel like by the time that happens, like I said, it might be too late. The Eight of Pentacles here, the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Three of Wands. I feel like you're this Queen of Cups here. Yeah, you know, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like you're not putting all your eggs in the whole, into one basket here. So I feel like you're focusing on your work. You're focusing on looking towards the future here. You're focusing on your manifestations at this time here. Creating the life, creating the reality that you want for yourself. So I feel like, you know, even though this person's going through all this, you know, perhaps you gave this person the space to do that. Uh, yeah, you're just not going to wait around for this person. You're, you just know that there's plenty of fishes out, out there in the sea. Yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this person's definitely missing you a lot. They fantasize, uh, you, uh, fantasize, fantasize about you a lot. And I do feel like there's a sense of like wanting to come back together. But this person's definitely stopping themselves from doing that here. Okay, I mean, with the death card here, yeah, you could be closing the door on this person here. You could just be doing the right thing for yourself or that, you know, I sort of like, you could be in this energy of like, I see the truth of the situation here. I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to try and convince this person or manipulate this person. I'm just going to accept this person's direct experience and kind of like move it along, you know? So um, the death card, the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords here. So Scorpio energy, Taurus energy, and the Ace of Swords. So Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.